Hello friends, today we are going to talk about uh, a very common term in electrical engineering that is the loading effect. Now it is a very 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 common term which I first time heard in my first year of engineering and I uh, truly speaking I didn't understand anything of that term or word but it was frequently said by the professor during the classes. Some student understood but most of the students couldn't understand. So first let's get into the formal definition. What is loading effect? Formal definition is when the measurement system or meter it draws energy from the measurement or that is to be measured the quantities to be measured then the measure becomes erroneous this phenomenon is called loading effect now when i first time heard this definition uh, truly speaking the situation of mine was like some kind of yeah it literally hurt my brain so uh, apart from the formal definition let's get into some example from which we can easily understand what is the loading effect let us take an very easy circuit so here is the voltage source of v1 uh, which have 3 volt and it is connected in series with r1 and r2 r1 is equal to 100 ohm and r2 is equal to 200 ohm now we need to calculate or measure what is the voltage at m1 node now this is the problem statement theoretically what will be the node voltage at m1 node now theoretically means uh, we need to calculate on paper so it's very simple let's apply voltage divider rule and uh, that will be equal to r2 divided by r1 plus r2 into voltage source that is v1 so that will be equal to 200 divided by 300 into 3 that is equal to 2 volt now this is very simple but the real world scenario is not that much easy it is not bed of browser so let's think in real world scenario now what the problem is same you need to measure not calculate you need to measure actually practically you need to measure the voltage at m1 so this is now your problem statement practically what will be the node voltage at m1 node so in order to measure some voltage we need some meter first of all so let us take a multimeter who is jack of all trade is a multitasker it can measure volt it can act as an ammeter or ohm meter so uh, let us take multimeter as for measuring voltage here so this is our multimeter now let us connect this multimeter the probes of this multimeter to a1 point and the ground so the points are shown by the black dots now there is one thing i forgot to mention that is if the multimeter has some kind of input impedance or some meter resistance let us take that meter resistance is 200 ohm so when actually the multimeter will be connected to some circuit to measure some voltage it will have some kind of resistance so now the actual circuit or the practical circuit of the whole system with the circuit and the multimeter combinedly will be like this so here that r underscore m rm resistance is coming for the multimeter and which is connected in parallel with r2 that is in between the m1 node and the ground now this is your this will be your actual scenario now the problem is that when you are connecting a multimeter like this to measure your voltage it will certainly draw some current or in terms of energy we can say that it will draw some kind of energy from the system now certainly the the voltage which we want to measure it will not be the true value of 2 volt which we have seen previously because it is drawing some energy it is drawing some current so certainly the voltage will drop 
so the equivalent circuit will be like this the r2 and rm will be in parallel so that will be equal to 100 ohm now here if we want to me uh, measure or calculate the voltage at m1 that will be equal to 3 volt equally divided between r1 and r2 parallel rm so simply it will be equal to 1.5 volt so now your multimeter will show 1.5 volt instead of 2 volt which is the actual value so now this is a disaster happening for the loading effect now this is a this is a great great problem in electrical engineering so one of the solutions is that increase the meter resistance by at least 10 times uh, uh, in uh, with respect to the output resistance of the circuit so here if the meter resistance is at least 2000 ohm then the loading effect will be minim or minimum or some sort of uh, we can manage that and uh, this loading effect theoretically it can be totally removed if the meter resistance is very high or theoretically speaking it is, it is if it is infinite then only we can very very accurate about the voltage which we want to measure so this is the story of loading effect uh, hope you understand this if you have any problem you can write on the comment section i will try to resolve that thank you very much for listening